Hi everyone, my name is Nigel Handroff and in today's masterclass I'll be teaching on the basics of guitar. So, I play guitar. Funny enough, I have a guitar in my hand. But um, I actually started uh, music when I was about nine years old. My very first, um, well besides playing recorder at school and being very average at it, <laughs> um, my, my parents bought me this Lowry organ um, when I was nine years old. Now, did I ask for that? No, I didn't. But they bought it thinking it would be a great idea if I learned some old songs like Lara's theme from Dr. Zhivago. So I could, uh, I could play, the, play those songs for when my, uh, when my uncles and aunties and relatives came, came around. So, you know, they, they thought it'd be a good idea if I could just be like a show pony and I hated it. Um, but that was, you know, that's when I learned how to play a little bit of music and I learned keys and, you know, the bass foot pedals on the, on the organ. And uh, I, I didn't love it though, um, probably more so because I didn't really appreciate music at the time. So I went on, to, went on to playing drums. So I progressed from that to banging on the pots and pans to tunes from ACDC and NXS in the kitchen. And um, I loved it. Um, but it wasn't until I was about 12, um, I was, my dad is, okay, so my dad is one of 14 brothers and sisters, <laughs> big family. And we used to, every Easter, we used to get together, get all the family together and all the extended family, the cousins and second cousins and what have you. And we used to uh, rent out this big log cabin in the bush and um, over the Easter long weekend. And my uncles would, would sit around the campfire um, with, with a beat-up nylon string guitar playing all these Elvis Presley tunes and Everly Brothers tunes, and I, I watched them do that, and I'm like, I think I want to do that, I want to, you know? So, so I asked, went up to my uncle, can you teach me anything? He goes, here's three chords, D, A, and G. So I started with that. And um, I, I would sit in my bedroom and, and practice these, you know, D, A, and G. I was finishing school, primary school, and the high school that I was going to had a jazz band and they were quite a prolific jazz band. They were really good. And they came around and did a showcase for us at my school. And they were playing all these old jazz standards like Watermelon Man and Caravan and Love for Sale. And, and I saw the guitarist in the, sitting in the back corner um, of this 16-piece jazz orchestra. Like I'm talking about like, you know, first trumpet, second trumpets, trombones, alto, tenor, um, soprano, a baritone saxophone, drums, bass, and this guy on guitar, and he would just be like, <laughs> sitting in the back corner. I'm like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to play jazz. So I went up to my music director and I said, can you teach me how to play? And he was like, I cannot play guitar at all. I can teach you trumpet. And I was like, no thanks. Um, I'd like to play guitar. So he <laughs> he gave me a, a chord chart of 16 chords and say, and say, just learn this, off you go. And there was pretty much no other instruction. So it had all the basic chords like your, your Ds, your Cs, Gs, A minor, E minor, B7. I, I, I pretty much took that away and, and sat in my room and tried to figure it out. At the same time, I, I had a few lessons and I was given a Berkeley book, Guitar Method One, Volume One. And that's actually how I, learnt my basic theory, because I really wanted to be a part of this jazz band. And this jazz band, uh, the players were absolutely amazing at sight reading and, and understanding their theory, and they could improvise at the drop of a hat. And I was like, uh, I, I know like three chords, but I really want to be a part of this band. So I had to sit down and, and pretty much teach myself. You know, like I said, I had a few lessons, um, I started playing classical guitar and I figured I didn't want to do that, but I had this, this book, this theory book. And um, in, this, in this book, I would learn like what's a, what is a C scale? <laughs> um, they, would, they would have these notes on these ledger lines and um, I'd be like, okay, let's, let's figure this out. So it would have the finger position and the, the numbers and and I would, I would sit in my room and practice. And at the same time, I'd have all these, I'd make photocopies of all these jazz standards from 
this this jazz band that I wanted to be a part of, and I couldn't make the sense of either. So um, I, I I I would sit in my bedroom and practice scales like that. Um, it didn't sound anywhere near as good as that, but it, that's how I how I started. Um, and I, I guess I guess at an early age, I I, I fell in love with. The guitar. When I say an early age, it probably wasn't that early. It was like 12, 13. I know some some musicians who who start like when they're five or six. I guess I started kind of late, you know. But earlier on in my guitar playing career, I absolutely fell in love with it, and I found myself practicing uh, like probably six six hours a day. I would come home from school, just get in my bedroom and practice, and then have dinner and practice uh, because I loved it so much and I wanted to understand it and. Um, you know, so so it was a very sharp learning curve for me, just having to having to understand all these chords on a piece of paper, all these notes, and like that that didn't make sense. So I was frantically trying to go through this book, and like if I would understand, like um, I would learn scales, but then I'd come across a chord that would say B minor seven flat five. I'm like. Oh gosh, I, I know a C scale, you know, like, but what is a B minor seven flat five? So I would have to sit down and and figure it out because I I didn't really have at the time I didn't have a teacher. My music director was like, learn these songs. <laughs> um, when you know how to learn them, then come and audition. I was like, great. Uh, so I would have this theory book, and I'll be like, what's a B minor seven flat five? I'm like, okay, I know my scales. So I'll be like B. B minor. Okay, so minor is a flattened third from the third. Minor seven. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minor seven. What's that? Look through the book. Oh, it's a flatten the seventh. So I've got, okay, B minor seven. Flat five, what's flat five? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five, flatten the five. I've got, okay. Like, is that it? And I flick through the chord book and the, the theory book and like, there's a B minor seven, there's a minor seven flat five shape. Fantastic. Okay, I know what a B minor seven flat five is. How do I use it? Um, and this is actually how I learnt how to play guitar. I had to figure it out. It wasn't like, I, I wish someone would teach me how to play like, you know, here's three chords and there's 20 songs from the Beatles that are, you know, written from these three chords and go away and learn that and have fun. Um, I wanted to play in this jazz band, so I, I took the hard route, I guess. <laughs> but um, I, I, was, I loved the challenge and um, I guess that's how I learnt my theory in a nutshell. Um, I'm trying to cram a whole lot of months and, and years of, I guess, of, of sitting in my bedroom practicing into a few minutes here. But, um, but uh, that was how I connected the theory, the, the dots, if you like. And um, uh, I would learn what a B minor seven flat five is, and then I'd see it on a chord chart and be like, okay, that's a minor seven flat five. And after that is an E7, and then it goes to an A major. And I'm like, oh, okay, so. It would at the same time train my ear to hear how these these um, these chords worked. I, I I I guess I took a deep dive into theory, but the good thing about that is I felt like it gave me a holistic approach to my craft. I didn't have a choice but to actually get good at it if I wanted to play in this band. Um, I I obviously learnt the chords on the piece of paper, but I also understood the theory behind it. And I guess my encouragement, one of my encouragements to you is like when you're learning how to play guitar um, or any instrument for that matter, have a, have a, take a holistic approach to it. You, you may see me playing at church and um, we're, I know for myself, of, often, more often than not, we're, we're taught to come knowing the parts of a song. You know, make sure you've got the riffs, make sure you've got the sounds, uh, make sure you've got the parts, all, all that stuff. That's great. Um, but then what happens when you're asked to do other things other than playing the parts of a song? What, what happens if you go off grid and then say the music director or someone points at you and says, 
play something. <laughs> what do you play? I mean, do you just play the parts of the song? I mean, that's kind of, you know, that, that might not work, I guess. But um, I, I liken, you, you know, your, your, your guitar journey, if you like, to, to learning a vocabulary, like learning words. You know, um, the more words you know, the better conversation you can have with someone. Um, so the more notes that I know, or the better I know my theory or know my instrument, then um, the better I can have a musical conversation, the better I can be, um, that, that I can fit and be relevant, if you like, um, in different musical settings. So, you know, if I, if I say, you know, hey mate, how you going? And you respond, good. And I say, that's great. Um, you know, they ask me, how are you going? I'm like, I'm good. That's kind of like playing a C chord, if you like. But then the more chords you know, the better conversation you can have. The more theory, the more notes you know, the um, how, you, you know, when you can figure out how to string it together, then you can start having better conversations like, what are you doing tonight? You know, or what's the weather like? Or um, it's, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so the things that, um, that, that I guess important to me are, are, are major scale, some of the most basic building blocks of the instrument. So when I say I like, play a scale, like let's look at G. G major. Know your G major going up the fret and then make sure you know it go, going back down. Okay, that's one position if you like. And make sure you know that everywhere. So if that's G, that's A flat or G sharp, A, B flat or A sharp, and then so forth. And that's if that's your root note, C. But then also know it in different positions. Um, make sure you know it like uh, you can go up and down. And to help you memorize it, you can practice different patterns like string, uh, like note skipping, like one, three, two, four. So major scales, basically your, your building blocks of, of playing guitar. Now, what you may notice is, is um, as you progress on your guitar journey, chords are all the chord shapes that you that you learn from books or see people play are built around scales. C scale, C chord. Um, And so forth. We can do that with with every, you know, with every chord. Um, you know, in my in my early days when I was learning, I'd be like, I'd be like, okay, that's D. And I'd be like, oh, I can move that chord. Well, that shape up there, moving up too, sounds like E. Amazing. Um, and that's how I learned how to move my chords around, but then even around that, I would still figure out, okay, that's E. That's E major. Still the E scale, where that chord fits in. I'm probably jumping around a little bit and trying to cram a whole lot of info at you, or throw it at you, but I hope that makes sense. Other things that I, I, I see as important, other than major scales, are uh, like your pentatonic scales, your major pentatonics, minor pentatonics, uh, penta being five notes, one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four. Now, funny enough, you could say that's an A minor pentatonic. Or you could say that's a C major pentatonic. Major, minor, the relative major, relative minor. Um, the blues scale is very similar to that is um, adding the sharp fourth in.
And you may think, what's the big deal about learning all that? Well, um, I guess it's the it's the the basics of of being able to to have a musical conversation, if you like. Uh, it's the basis of being able to play and to jam with friends, to to really start solidifying, um, I, I guess, the theory that you're learning behind scales. Um, like if I if I play something like. It's like a blues lick, if you like, but that's made up of your pentatonics and your blues scales. And if you listen to, if you listen to a lot of uh, music on on the radio, um, what's an another way to help solidify what you're learning is trying to play the melody of songs. And this is also a great way to to train your ear. Um, ear training is is so important. Um, you need to be able to hear. Uh, things like keys of songs, uh, hear what the melody is doing, hear how to adapt your playing into different environments. And the pentatonics that I showed you are the basics of pretty much every song. Your major scales, your, your pentatonics, if you know them, you can pretty much play any song out there. How about Fresh Wind? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so, <laughs> um, for example, if, if you've heard the song Fresh Wind that, um, that we as a church have released recently, um, Key of C, there's a, um, in the bridge, uh, say in the chorus going to the bridge. That's all the C major scale. The bridge. Um, da, 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 is your basic pentatonic. That is your C major pentatonic or your A minor pentatonic to a T. All right, so I've, I guess I've skipped around a whole lot of stuff and tried to give you you know, a, a lot of little nuggets in a short time. But to summarise, you know, being being a good guitarist is actually being a good musician. So that's having a holistic approach to your craft, um, not just learning enough to get through the song, but really um, having a good, strong understanding of of music. You know, so with guitar, it's just all your theory, um, your chords, chord inversions all that sort of stuff, your ear training, learning how to read basic music. Uh, it's all those things that, you, that um, as you learn, you know, pay attention to those things. And um, with that, I believe that your guitar playing will go to a whole nother level.